Hi, I'm Doug Baker with Teledyne Hastings Instruments. Today I want to tell you about our latest uh, DAVC vacuum gauge. And this gauge just mounts onto one of our thermocouple gauge tubes, like that. Uh, the DAVC can be configured to work with the DV4, DV5, or DV6 family of thermocouple gauge tubes. The uh, DAVC is very flexible. It has analog and digital outputs. In addition, it also has a set point for process control. The analog outputs can be 0 to 1, 0 to 5, 0 to 10 volt, linear, DC. The uh, digital output is RS-232, so that's just using simple ASCII characters back and forth. The uh, set point uh, can be adjusted from right here. That's an open collector transistor type set point, and that's a real inexpensive way to get a dependable four-line monitor is by using the DABC with a thermocouple gauge tube. Another thing I'll mention is that the uh, DAVC is Rojas compatible and also if you have a PLC it's very easy to connect either the analog or digital output of the DAVC to get vacuum readings. So let's take a closer look. The factory configuration of the DAVC is given by the marking on the base plate. So this particular unit is set up for the DV6 family of thermocouple gauge tubes. The 15-pin D-sub carries all the signals and feeds power to the DAVC. There are two small potentiometers. One is for the set point, the other is for calibration. And I should mention that the DAVC comes from the factory ready to use. There are no adjustments required out of the box. There is also an atmosphere push button right here, but that should only be used during a full calibration of the DAVC. I'll also mention here that the DAVC is compatible with Teledyne reference tubes. Now there are two LEDs which correspond to the set point. The high red LED is illuminated when the pressure is above the set point and there's a low green LED and that's illuminated when the pressure is less than the set point. So one nice thing is that whenever the gauge is powered you're always going to see a light so that you, so that you know that the unit is powered. Now up. to power the DAVC we just need a low cost DC power supply. The DAVC accepts 12 to 30 volts DC, so I'm going to use this little 24 volt wall transformer. And as long as your power supply can provide 0.7 watts or more, you're good to go. Teledyne provides a 1.5 meter cable with the DAVC, and the color code is given on the uh, inputs. There's also a uh, wiring label on the uh, outside cover, so that makes it uh, convenient to find the, the wiring. Now, in our example, we're just going to use four wires, uh, two to bring power in and two to bring back the linear analog output. So, to feed the 24 volt, we need pin three, that's the green wire, and the power common is pin four, that's the blue wire. Now, it's simple to grab the linear analog output voltage. This is given on pin 11, which is the red wire, and pin six, that's the violet wire. I'll point out again that the DAVC can be configured to give four to 20 milliamp output. Now, 4 to 20 milliamp can be very useful in electrically noisy environments or when the DAVC is mounted far from a PLC. Our turbo pump is humming, so let's go ahead and crack the gate valve. And you'll see the set point transition, and you'll see how quickly the analog output responds to changing pressure. So to summarize, the DAVC is simple and flexible, and it's an economical way to get dependable vacuum measurement. I want to thank you again for watching this video. If you have any questions about the DAVC or any of our other vacuum or float products, please contact us at Hastings underscore instruments at Teledyne.com, and that contact information will be shown at the bottom of the video. Thanks again for watching.